Hey everyone, welcome back to Garden State Growing. My name is Eric and oh my god, today has just been sweltering hot. My motorcycle ride to work and back was just humidity and heat. I regretted wearing pants, I should have wear shorts. Too much information. But the episode that we're going to do today is about something I know almost nothing about. Today, I'm using a fertilizer injector. Okay, I need to fertilize these plants. It's in mid-June, it's about time that I did. Okay, and I bought this uh, fertilizer injector from Hoss Tools. Okay, and I'm not gonna go real much into it. like. Go to Hoss Tools Fertilizer Injector. You can watch their video on how to assemble it and how to do it and everything else. It's a lot more um, inclusive than I would be able to put on this video because I barely know what I'm doing with this thing. So the reality is, is that when you use like a fertilizer injector, you want to use like a drip irrigation system. And I don't have mine set up yet. I know it's been half done for about a month now. I just don't have the time and it's really hot out and I just don't want to do it. Eventually I will get it done, but you don't have to use a fertilizer injector with a drip irrigation system. You can use it with a hose system. And that's kind of what I'm going to show you today. Okay, so let's just get into it. So here I have my um, fertilizer injector and it has a very, after you assemble it, it has two on and off valves from uh, the inlet and the outlet lines. So there you have it. It was that simple. I just plugged it into this end, plugged that into that end. You can't get it wrong. There's only a female and a male. You have to do it the way it goes. I'm going to shut this valve off. Or did I turn that on? Yeah, I'm going to shut that valve off. All right, so here's the second exciting thing that I purchased. Okay, I purchased this like a month ago, but I couldn't find a really good organic water soluble uh, fertilizer that would work that had the kind of numbers that I was looking at. So what I did find was this and I bought two and a half gallons of it it's agro thrive okay and this is 100% completely organic okay and uh, before I bought it I really delved into their company and they have a really unique process of digesting uh, their ingredients their nutrients to the point where they become water soluble and uh, available for the plant right away. It's a really neat process. I don't want to butcher it. Okay, so now what I have to do is I have to measure out a certain amount to actually put into this. And what I'm going to measure out for is 700 square feet. That's um, a very conservative number. I probably have upwards of eight or nine, but I'd rather do less than more. Um, this is, I believe, a 335. Perfect for what I'm looking for right now. A little uptake of potassium, a little uptake. You know, it's, it's almost balanced, but it's got that potassium and, it, and it's got that phosphorus for the blooming and the fruiting, but it still has nitrogen for the growth. I think it's going to work out really great. Now, per the instructions, it says shake well, I will do that, and a half a cup with one gallon of water to cover 35 square feet. But now I have no idea how that's gonna work in here because I could just do a whole cup for two gallons of water and hand water and I would know for every two gallons of water I was putting in one cup of this fertilizer. But now I'm doing close to 700 square feet. What do I need to put in here? Now, they do send you instructions on how to calculate how much fertilizer for how much square feet compared to what's your PSI at the faucet and your gallons per hour at the faucet. It's a really long, complicated mathematical, and let me tell you, if I sat down and tried to figure it out, I could figure it out. 
But if that's what I got to do to garden, I don't want to garden anymore. So, they're saying 35 square feet for a half a cup. And I have about, oh, let me mix that up. I have about 700 square feet. So that's about a half a cup times three times seven, 21 cups of fertilizer. Someone out there check my math. Wait, hold on, let me do this again. So 35 times three is maybe 105. Mm -hmm. Okay, close enough. Times seven is 35. Divide it in half because it's half a cup. 17 and a half cups. Man, I just really just lost my numbers there for a minute. Someone help me out here. I need half a cup for 35 square feet. I've got 700. So divide 35 into 700. That's got to be around 21. Oh, and then divide that in half, and we're talking about 10.5 cups. That sounds a lot more reasonable. Where did I put my measuring cup? So I have my two cup measuring cup here. So that means I need to do five of these to get about 10 cups. I'm just going to leave it at 10 cups because uh, when I don't know what I'm doing, I'd rather underdo it than overdo it. So let's shake this up. Oh. I'm going to pour it uh, into this measuring cup and that looks like steel mud. Oh, that smells delicious. Some people might hate that smell. I love that smell. I don't, it, it's not, it's not bad at all. So that's one. Before I move on, yes, I did spill a bunch. Um, I want you to know that there are th four different settings on here. There is, what do they have? Stop, one, two, and fast. He says he always leaves his on fast, so I'm gonna leave mine. They also give you these three little flow discs. They look like little um, washers that you can put right here in the inlet, and that will either slow or speed up so I put the medium disc in. Again, I don't know what I'm doing with this thing. So I hope this works out. Uh, another tip is they recommend uh, pre-filling this tank up to at least, uh, you know, where the curve starts. And uh, that's gonna help it pressurize faster. Now this whole system is pressurized. There is 10 cups of fertilizer in here. My hose is all the way down there by my tomatoes because I never roll it back up. And I'm gonna take you down and show you what I'm gonna do next, which is almost nothing. Okay guys, I'm standing down in the most southern part of my bed. I got my tomatoes over here. I have my trellising, uh, let's call this Monstrosity Junior, okay, with my sweet potatoes. Oh no, one of them went down. I gotta pick it up. But anyway, and my dragon fruit on top. So all I'm gonna do right now is just take my hose and start watering my plants. It's been a while since I've been out here. I think the day before Father's Day, to be honest with you, that's been about three days with no water that I've added, but we did have a really nice thunderstorm. All right, so here we are down at my pepper bed and I'm gonna just let the water run for a little bit, clean off my hands because I had to pick up my pepper plant for that one. Because he fell down, go boom. All right, maybe I should put a little screw in there to stop it from falling down. So I'm just gonna let this go until I think that the fertilizer is actually coming through. 
I should be able to start to smell it. And I want the water to cool off, and it is. And I'm just going to go around my pepper bed. Even though my peppers do not need as much water as a lot of my other plants. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Here it comes. Whoa. Why is my hose getting away from me? I got to turn down the volume here. Whew. But yeah, the fertilizer is definitely coming out now. I can smell it. I can see it. Like I said, my peppers don't need as much as my other plants, so I'm just going to quickly go through these guys. And then move on to my tomatoes that I'll take much more time. Okay, so, I mean, the, the flow is a little sporadic, but um, whatever. I really don't care. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to water all my plants this way. And uh, I guess we'll see in like a week or two or probably sooner than that if it's uh responding so so first impressions of this uh fertilizer injector i absolutely love it okay compared with the i mean not compared but paired with the agro thrive fertilizer uh liquid fertilizer it uh it has been working out marvelous i can smell it coming out the end of the hose so i know when this jug is empty or not but i'll tell you the 10 cups that I put in here have been throwing off and throwing off and throwing off. Uh, I'm dying to see whether it's going to wait until the end of my garden before it fizzles out. But let me tell you, I absolutely love putting this stuff down. It's a 335 for this fertilizer for AgriThrive, not a sponsor. And it's a perfect irrigation system while I water my plants. Now I haven't been watering my plants as thoroughly or deeply um, because it does contain fertilizer. So I've been giving them a really good shot. And when this finally runs down, tomorrow I may come back and I may do a nice deep watering. But not, I don't want to wash away everything I just put into this soil. So I'll do half as much as I usually do uh, today and half as much as I usually do tomorrow. But so far, I've been absolutely loving this. I've had it on the fast setting on the container. And I've had the medium flow disc in my conjunction with the water spigot i'm gonna go around finish off my garden and uh then we'll just say good night so that's it i'm finally done watering all my plants i can't wait to get this drip irrigation system set up every time i come out here and i spend hours and hours and hours watering i get upset that i don't have this drip irrigation i would rather come out here and just inspect my plants but for now this is what's gonna have to do until i get over my laziness and eventually get that whole drip irrigation system set up. The problem is, is that I'm engineering it myself. I'm not using uh, commercial drip irrigation systems because I want this to last more than just one or two years. Uh, so we'll just have to see how that works out in the end. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit, but you probably didn't, about fertilizer injectors that... I know nothing about and I'm learning right now. So maybe next season I could give you some solid information about a, a fertilizer injection system. I love you and I will see you on the next episode.